Hey, Megan here. Thank you for joining me. So continuing our plant triage collection, I wanted to show you this guy. This is my Alocasia regin reginula? reginula. It's called a regal shield. And I want to show you it because you can see it has some pretty dark leaves on it. And it's supposed to actually be fairly dark black or really dark green that it's almost black. This was one of the goth plants that I wanted to get. But if you can see, let me see if I can kind of, like it, it's dark green, but it's not totally black. And I wanted to kind of let you know why that might be happening for your plants too. If you ordered some goth plants that just aren't getting the color that you want. I think also maybe some red plants might do this too, but just for the sake of, <laughs> um, understanding that I am not an expert on this. This is just what I learn as I go. I, let's stick to the black plants. So if you think about the way that house plants work, when they get too little light, they start to turn yellow. The leaves will start to turn yellow, I should say. And it will begin to conserve resources into the more critical parts of the plant. By the way, this pot is from the dollar store. So check out the dollar store if you want some really cheap pots. I love the dollar store and Goodwill. They always have pots there. Although Goodwill's getting kind of crazy with their prices. I digress. <laughs> so when a plant is trying to conserve resources, it starts to cut off parts of the plant that are superfluous or not necessary to the survival of the plant. So that's on the one end where plants start to get um, droopy or will start to get yellow leaves or even brown leaves if it's you know a resource issue with like nutrients let me get back to it on the other hand when there's when it's a super happy healthy plant it will begin to expend like it'll, it'll start to kind of spruce itself up a little bit. And if it has a genetic mutation, it can begin to cause variegation. And that's the really cool green and white plants that you'll see like the monsteras that are thousands of dollars because it's a genetic anomaly. And that happens when it has enough chlorophyll I think this is how it goes. It has enough chlorophyll in its system that it doesn't need to allot all of the resources to every leaf. So it'll kind of give it, you know, give some leaves a little bit of a break and say like, you're good. You just sit there and be pretty and be, you know, different looking and the rest of the green will take care of it. The same goes for black plants. When they get enough sunlight, it will make them <laughs> like, I don't think plants are sentient and maybe they are. I don't know. I love you. Please be happy. But what can happen is when it becomes super happy and super healthy, it will begin if it has it in its genes to turn darker green to the point that it becomes black. And this can happen when it is getting enough light, getting enough nutrients, not around any kind of drafts making sure it's the right temperature and the right humidity. So there has to be a lot of things that happen to make this perfect. Now, for a long time, this plant was alive, but it had, I'd say one or two leaves on it. I got it as a starter plant on Etsy and I'll leave a link below that so you can check it out. But it had leaves on it that were mostly green, just this color green, maybe even a little bit lighter, but you can see even on this now, those are the droopy ones. Those are the ones that aren't getting a lot of sunlight or resources. And the same thing was going on in my bathroom. They weren't getting enough direct sunlight for this alocasia to flourish and become the super goth plant that it's supposed to be. Now, when I moved it to a different area, it began to get darker and it began to get these really beautiful, rich, green leaves and has not turned black yet honestly because I think it needs to recuperate and I guess start to trust me a little bit more that these that where it lives will be for good but you can also see honestly like I said I'm not a plant expert but and this is proof positive this alocasia is what they call leggy it's really tall and that is because so the light the window that it's on sits like right above here and it's on a table that sits maybe here. So it has to reach really high to get direct sunlight. And that is most likely why 
it is leggy, and it is dark green, but not black. So if I really wanted to fix this, what I would do is probably get it closer to the window, maybe like prop it up on a plant stand or something like that, or move it to a different spot. But right now, for me, this is fine. I love this plant. I think it's a really cool plant and it doesn't seem like it is uh, unhealthy to the point that it needs to be moved. Right now, this is the best space that I have for it at the time. And, you know, as you know, uh, when you own houseplants, sometimes you just got to make it work the best way you can. And if I had more window space for it, or if I had some better options, I probably would prop it up a little bit more. But right now, for me, this is fine enough. <laughs> you know, owning houseplants, sometimes good enough is good enough. But we'll see. I'll let you know if I decide to change that up a little bit. <laughs> now that I'm saying it, I'm thinking that maybe I should just suck it up and get a little plant stand. <sighs> well, guess I'm off to go buy some stuff. But <laughs> I hope that was helpful. Leave a comment and let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to help in any way that I can or direct you to somebody else that could definitely help. And I will see you in the next video.